Linux Mint 15 XFCE, the latest edition, 15, codenamed Olivia, was released about a couple weeks ago. And if there's one thing you get from Linux Mint, uh, from the team at Linux Mint, year after year, is a sense of uh, being constant or a sense of consistency, quality release after quality release. If there's one thing that the uh, team of Linux Mint at Linux Mint have done over the years is at the very least you don't get a shock to the system when you're going from a previous release to the next release as opposed to say going from the old GNOME 2 to GNOME 3 and of course uh, for Windows folks from the Windows 7 to Windows 8. Linux Mint 15 Olivia XFCE is terrific. I installed this today on this particular machine here. This machine here is an old HP Pavilion with exactly one gigabyte of RAM and coincidentally the uh, team at Linux Mint they recommend your machine have at least one gigabyte of RAM to run this comfortably. But let's take a look at some of the features here. This is just from the Linux Mint blog. Okay well XFCE is a lightweight desktop environment which aims to be uh, fast and low on system resources. It is fast, somewhat low on system resources. If you are looking for something even faster, I would check out uh, Lubuntu or the LXDE version of Linux. But the new features here would be the XFCE 4.10, the Whisker menu, I love that title, a new MDN, then we have new software sources, driver manager, software manager, various system improvements, artwork, and upstream components. Again, play, uh, pay close attention to the system requirements. You need at least 384 megabytes of RAM to install this. Uh, on a newer machine, that's not, that is not going to be an issue, but if you have a machine, say, 10 years old, and you have less than this amount of RAM, it's probably not going to work. All right, let's take a look and see what we have here. This, of course, is the default desktop. I moved the panel bar uh, from the bottom to the top. The one thing that I miss in Ubuntu Unity and uh, GNOME 3 or GNOME Shell is the ability to right-click and add applications, uh, applets, whatever you want to call this, new items. Uh, you can add uh, various applications here, everything from a launcher to the clock, uh, dictionary. I added uh, let's see, I added the weather applet. Let's say you wanted to add trash, so highlight that, add, and to the top right you have your trash icon. You can right click and if you wanted to move this you certainly can like I have here and it's that easy in terms of uh, if you are a, a beginner coming from Windows to some form of a Linux uh, based operating system. Of course, you can right-click on the desktop here. This will give you a menu submenu. Oh, let's see. Let's take a look at desktop settings. Again, very easy. If you wanted to change the background, you can certainly scroll down and change it to whatever you wanted to here. Oh, let's see. Let's try Blue Lagoon. Let's see what that looks like. Wow, that certainly looks peaceful, doesn't it? I think I'll just keep it there for now. Let's see, going back to desktop settings, there's a couple other things you can change here. The menu, show applications uh, menu on desktop, right click, and you can add some icons here, default icons to the desktop and arrange the icon size. Again, very easy to use and there's even a help button here at the bottom left. All right, well, let's take a quick look and see what we have here. We have some shortcuts here. I added some of these shortcuts here. This is the terminal. The file manager called, uh, let's see, Thunara, I believe. Let's take a quick look. Yep, 1.6.2. Again, if you are coming from a Windows machine, very easy to use the various folders here. This is pretty much uh, self-explanatory, so I'll just leave this the way it is. Uh, you can change um, how this looks uh, any way that you want to. Let's go to detail here, and there you go. All right, let's escape out of that. Let's go to the menu. This is the whisker menu. This has changed. This reminds me a little bit of the uh, uh, mate menu or mate, however you want to call it. We have the various favorites here. A nice little search bar here at the bottom. 
favorites, recently used. This will bring up a very simply recently used pieces of software. Highlight all. This will give you everything that is installed in XFCE. We can categorize this by accessories, graphics, internet, uh, multimedia. Uh, I installed the Pulse Audio Control. Uh, VLC Media Player is installed by default. Very nice. A very nice player for both Linux and Windows. I installed the Screencaster here to record what I am showing you. Under Office, of course, the obligatory LibreOffice installed by default. Under Settings, again, self explanatory here. We have various settings, modules. Again, if you were coming from Windows, this shouldn't be too much of an issue to figure this out. Oh, let's try something. Let's go under settings. Let's try, uh, I believe software, software sources is new. Type in your password, of course. Yeah, this is the new software sources uh, menu here. You have these categorized from official repositories, adding PPAs, additional repositories, authentication keys, and maintenance. Again, very easy. Uh, this is probably something if you are going to dive into Linux uh, full, uh, full steam or full speed, however you want to call it, I will definitely learn uh, something about software sources. This, is, this can definitely come in handy in the future if you wanted to run Linux as a, a full-time machine. Let's go back here one more time. Let's take, uh, let's try the search function. Let's say I wanted to search, uh, well, VLC. And there you go. One of the best media players on the planet. This will play all of your audio and video. And the one thing about this, about Linux Mint, the music and video uh, any anything that you have that is either music or video will play out of the box. You don't have to hunt and install extra codecs as you do with other Linux based with other some Linux based operating systems. Okay, well, I can go on and on uh, explaining how this works. I don't really think this is necessary. This is pretty much uh, self-explanatory, very easy to use. I just highlighted the default um, sound settings here playback, capture, switches, and options. You can also highlight select controls. You can add other functions here accordingly. And bottom right, of course, quit. This is it, another fine release from the Linux Mint team. I love it. I think I might just keep this on my old HP Pavilion. And the one nice thing about this, I noticed I was able to immediately sync my Galaxy S4 smartphone without having to do any tweaking in the terminal. And I love that because my favorite terminal is the Orlando International Airport. All right, I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Check out Linux Mint 15 Olivia XFCE Edition. Very newbie friendly and as always I will catch all of you sometime in the future. Ciao.